what we're going to do today is we're going to concentrate on some clipper work through this area um, up to recession point. Um, I just want to simplify using all of my grades, one, two, three and four, um, and then showing some blending and some texturising through the top here into styling. We're going to work a grade three around this area just to start with a guideline. We're then going to blend up with a number two and we're going to taper and fade in with a one, obviously cleaning up the hairline. We're then going to work a four off of the three, which probably won't take anything off other than just the roundness of the haircut. And then we're going to work in blending and texturising and styling the haircut. So at this point, this is clearly just working from recession, round to recession in a horseshoe area. Just to simply start off my, my guide point. At this point, I'm simply going to be doing straight strokes, almost like mowing a lawn, just to make sure that we get the majority of the, um, and the bulk of the hair taken away. Okay, so that is number three. And I've, all I've done there is just create from recession to recession in a horseshoe. I'm now going to pop on my number four. And this is just simply going to square off any roundness in the shape. See, it's not really taking off any hair as such. It's just cleaning off that roundness. So all we're doing here is just simply um, bending this in before we move on. Scissor over comb technique. As you can see, that's just removing any excess weight and making that um, blend in nicely. The number four that we've used. I'm going to taper in and uh, I'm going to use my one and a half grade first and then I'm going to take it down to the, the one. Just working around into the hairline, getting it off from the hairline. I'm just gently rubbing into that already. Number two is done. Okay, just come down to the one. Just to tape them. This is 
literally just around my borderline now. Working around the hairline, you tend to work against the hair growth and you try to shape up. If you don't, um, chances are you're not going to catch that hair and clean up. Because we've already tapered in um, around there, there is really no need. I don't want you to put in any kind of square lines and such, I want it to be really nice and natural. Taper on the neckline. Again, just working against the hair growth around the ear. Just check over. Look at the scissor over the Don't lean into the bone. Clean off any um, flying hair, should we say? Um, the rubbing technique that you saw earlier, um, when you go from literally straight, straight up and reducing weight and uh, length to rubbing your clipper, is because hair grows in all different sorts of directions. Therefore, like I was saying, you must cut against the growth of the hair. Otherwise, you might simply miss. Um, some of the hair cut, which I'm obviously checking through for now. A little bit creative with your colour, haven't you? So we'll do something to uh, bring that out. I'm going to use quite a high shine um, product on your hair today. Good. Nice brows. And there we have it. 